Mark can paint a house in seven hours. John can paint the same house in 12 hours. How long would it take them if they work together? Well, this is a, a, a rate time uh, problem where we're dealing with work. And uh, um, I've, I've showed you how to, to, to come up with the basic formula for this already. Uh, and what you'll find is anytime you have a problem like this, that basic formula is always going to apply, which is going to be the variable divided by how long it takes. So in other words, mark uh, is going to be t over 7. Okay, what that means is in one hour, Mark has painted one seventh of the house. In two hours, Mark has painted two sevenths of the house. On and on and on and on and on. John, I'll write the same way as T over 12. So in one hour, John has painted one twelfth of the house. In two hours, he has painted two twelfths of the house. In three hours, he's painted three twelfths of the house. On and on and on. And the goal here is obviously we're dealing with fractions. One-seventh plus one-twelfth. Two-sevenths plus two-twelfths. Three-sevenths plus three-twelfths. And we're trying to find what value for T means they've painted the entire house. Well, one-seventh, two-sevenths. When has Mark painted the entire house? When he has painted seven-sevenths of the house. What is seven-sevenths? Simply one. And you'll find that every work rate problem is like this, uh, whether it's painting or making copies or, um, you know, if you have a water basin that's draining, um, any of these are going to be the same. Uh, it's going to be, you know, the time divided by the rate. Um, and so um, the other thing before we actually solve this is, is just I want to point out, um, if Mark can paint this by himself in seven hours, our answer better be less than seven because if he can paint it by himself in seven and someone helps him, it should make him work faster. So if you get an answer larger than seven, you know something's wrong. Okay? Now, uh, I look at this problem and what I see is a rational equation. Uh, anytime you've got variables as part of a fraction, that's a rational equation. And the easiest way to solve a rational equation is multiply by the least common denominator. So uh, what is the least common denominator in this case? Well, the least common denominator in this case is 84. And uh, no, I'm not a genius and uh, just magically come up with that, but it's uh, 7 times 12. 7 times 12 is 84. So I'm going to multiply each and every fraction or every part of the equation by 84. Now, if I do that, um, 84 divided by 7 is 12. So I get 12t. That gives me 12t. Uh, and 84 divided by 12 gives me 7t. And 1 times 84 gives me 84. And uh, 12t plus 7t makes 19t equals 84. Divide by 19 and I get 84 over 19, or I get 4 and 8 nineteenths. And um, what unit is this in? Units are important. And for me, uh, 4 and 8 nineteenths, well, you look at it. He can paint a house in 7 hours. He can paint a house in 12 hours. Since we're talking about time in hours, our answer is T. T is time. So this would have to be in hours. Okay. So 4 and 8 nineteenths hours, and of course, if you wanted a decimal, you could convert that mixed number into a decimal. Please notice that this is less than 7 hours. So John helped Mark get the job done faster, and that's the point of this. If you have any questions about this, please come see me.